This is the second in a three-part series about the Xynix Zinc 7000 and Micrium's MicroCOS 3 real-time operating system. In part 1, we covered creating a hardware design targeting the Zinc 7000. In this part, you'll see how to install and configure the MicroCOS BSP for the Xynix SDK, and you'll see how to build and debug a basic program. The first step is to install the Micrium BSP into the current workspace. To do so, download the BSP archive available from the Micrium website and extract it at a suitable location. A short path name with no spaces is recommended. To install the BSP into the current workspace, access the Repositories Preferences panel available from the Xynix Tools menu. From this panel, add a new local repository and browse to the microcOS directory of the extracted archive. Then click OK. With the BSP installed, you can create a new application project as a basis for your development. Invoke the new application project wizard by navigating to File, New, Application Project. Type a name for the project. Select the microcOS platform and click Next. In this panel, select the microcOS 3 Hello World example project and click Finish. This screen is the board support package summary. To configure the BSP, click the Modify this BSP setting button. This is the BSP settings dialog. Here you can see the libraries available for the BSP. The libraries correspond to various software modules of the Micrium RTOS that can be enabled in your project. When starting from an example project, the required libraries are selected for you. For this tutorial, you need to configure only the terminal input and output. In the drop-down menu for the STD in-out parameter, select the PS7 UART 1 option. This configures the UART as the terminal output. In this example, you will program the AXC timer using the Micrium Xynix drivers. In the driver configuration panel, you can select which driver is assigned to individual peripherals in your design. Here, both the XC Timer 0 and 1 were automatically assigned the driver MicroCOS XC Timer. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll change the XC Timer 1 driver to instead use the Xynix Timer Counter driver. The BSP is now being regenerated and rebuilt. This short application is a simple one-task demonstration that outputs messages to the terminal. It can be used for testing a BSP configuration or as a basis for your own application. The example project is now ready to run on the hardware. First, let's connect the terminal to the board's UART. Select the terminal window, then click the Connect button. The terminal settings box appears. Now you can configure the serial connection. The default baud rate for this design is 115,200, and on my PC, the USB to serial adapter is COM5. Next, you need to create a debug configuration. Open the debug configuration panel from the Run menu. Right-click on Xynix CC++ application System Debugger and select New. Change the debug type to Standalone Application Debug. The hardware platform bitstream file and initialization file are configured automatically. The FPGA needs to be programmed before debugging, so enable Reset Entire System and FPGA Program. Now, click the Application tab. Next, you are going to load the application into Core 0, so select Processor PS7 Cortex-A9-0 and then select Download Application. The application file for debugging is already selected. So click Debug to launch a debug session. The application is now being loaded onto the target processor and the FPGA is being programmed with the bitstream. By default, the application will perform early initialization and stop at the C main function. Resume the application by clicking the Resume button. You can see the BSP's initialization output and application messages in the terminal. The BSP is now functional, with a ticking kernel ready to be used as the basis of your embedded system design. 
In the next section, you will learn how to use the Micrium and Xilinx drivers to access hardware peripherals. You will create basic tasks, configure interrupts, and learn basic usage of the Microsoft 3 semaphores.